Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here at Billy Nelson's gym. I'm with the big man himself. I've had the privilege, Martin, of watching you spar 12 tough rounds against two very, very game opponents. Uh, how are you feeling heading into this Jared Anderson fight? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, Faisal, for coming down. You always come down, travel for, no, drive for a long way to come down. Thank you so much. And uh, like you see, today, 12 round. So looking forward to to face the big baby. Big dad is going to face the big, dad, big, big, big baby in America. Oh, listen, what is it, three weeks out? Three weeks out on Saturday, three weeks yeah. away. Um, when are you going to fly out? Are you flying out soon? Uh, I was uh, waiting for the visa, but now my passport is opposed to the USA embassy, so waiting for the visa. Soon the visa is out, and then we plan with my team when we go to America. But we need to be there early, maybe for camp. Mm -hmm, definitely. Yeah. I'm, I'm, guess, I'm sure you've got spawn lined out in America against oh. some good heavyweights out there in preparation for this fight. Of course, yeah. You know, this is a big fight, so... I'm taking it seriously, so I need to be there first and first a good sparring partner. And uh, I'm looking forward to it, so I'm very focused for this fight. Mm -hmm. Well, talk to me about Jared Anderson. Um, very, very good young fighter, undefeated. He's young, hungry, um, in his home country, in America. Um, he seems to be the favourite in this fight, looking at the bookies. He's the favourite. What do you make of that? I love it. You know, All my life, I always fight. You know, I went to, the, to Paris and uh, stopped to New Yorker. Before his, you know, his fans, before his, uh, his team, uh, promoter, his family. But I'm not under pressure. I love it. You no, know, I love people like that. Give me fight because I'm a fighter as well and a boxer. So I'm looking forward to see what this big baby is going to bring. Uh, I think uh, he never fought someone on my level. So this is his first test. But uh, he's a man. He can come and surprise everyone. But I don't think so because I'm uh, looking forward to this. This is my time. So I'm looking forward to it. What do you need to do against Jared Anderson? Because, like, how many interviews have we done, Martin, where we've spoke about becoming world champion? We've spoke about fighting the big names in the division. Now, Jared Anderson is that sort of maybe you beat him, then we can, then me and you can sit down next time when uh, when you beat Jared Anderson and say Fury, Usyk, Zhang, Dubois, Joyce. We can talk about them fighters. But so, what kind of performance do you need? against Jared Anderson. Do you need to knock him out? Uh, if knock him, no. If knock out come, I'm so happy. I'm working for the 12th round. Like you see today, spying 12th round. So, sorry about that. I'm working very hard. And uh, uh, he's a professional boxer. He's number one in the ranking in America right now. He's a uh, seven box rank and I'm 11. So, he's a good boxer. Uh, I'm not taking like an easy fight. He's a very good fight but not tough one because I lack tough fight. Because I don't think this boy will stand to give me fight. He will try to box, but I'll give him fight. Uh, I think, I don't think he will sleep that day. Mm. Maybe he'll spend two days, his eyes open after the fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's going to be an exciting fight. And uh, right now, you're not scared to go to anyone's backyard. Tony Yoka, Marius Wack in Poland, um, now Jared Anderson yeah. out in the US. So this doesn't bother you one bit going into his backyard? No. Uh, I'm in the UK. I'm coming a long way from uh, Africa, from Congo, DRC. So all my life, all my fights are fighting in the UK. Mm. UK is my second home, so I have fun in the UK, but I'm always from Af Africa. I never fight in my country. I always fight outside. So I feel like... Uh, no, I'm so happy when I'm fighting in someone's hometown. So I want to, uh, I feel it when people shouting his name, I feel like they are pushing me to knock him out or to beat him. So yeah. that's all I lack, always fight outside. If they propose me any fight, I always say yes, because that's my job. I used to it. It's not like American, they never fight outside. It's very hard for them to move. Soon they outside the country, they always lose. But it's, that is not my, me and Martin Bacoli. My mentality is uh, going to, your, home, uh, your, 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 your hometown, smash you, stop you, knock out, win on point, Martin McCall win the fight, go back to UK or maybe to Congo for celebration. I want to talk about the Congo because it seems like you're pushing hard. You're pushing hard to get a fight out there. Yeah. <laughs> You're pushing really hard to get a fight out in the Congo. Yeah. Uh, I think, was it 50 years since Muhammad Ali fought yeah. out there? Was it in Zaire back in the day? Um, I know when I look at your post with the, the Congolese government and, and whatnot, it seems like everybody seems to be on board to get you yeah. a fight in the Congo. How realistic is that? 
Oh, thank you for asking me that. Uh, before I started this camp, I was in the Congo. If you watch all my posts, you'll see I was posting some pictures I was in the Congo. Uh, as an ambassador, my president called me down, but he's too much busy with uh, uh, everything that is going uh, on in east of my country. It's bad, bad. The Rwanda is attacking us, killing innocent people. So we're trying to you know, fight diplomatically, but it's not working. But now everyone is asking to to, to engage the war. But uh, we're looking forward to it. And they called me down by my minister of sports and my president to ask me if uh, we okay, if I'm uh, okay, if they find me a good opponent to organize the big 15 uh, anniversary, my anniversary, my medal for man. I said yes. I hope they went to AJ and asked him to fight me. I think AJ said no. And uh, they are looking forward to find someone else. But if the war is still going, I don't think what happened, but if maybe stop early, I think it will happen because you know, people first. So I'm looking forward uh, to that and uh, I hope maybe everything will be like as we plan. I'm sorry to hear about that, what's happening in your country and fingers crossed everything get resolved peacefully uh, as well, Martin. Um, but you mentioned AJ being offered the fight and I know you've got a tough fight against Jared Anderson and I probably know the answer that you're going to give me. You're probably going to tell me to... Um, but have you looked at the future when... Have you, have you thought about that far? What's next and who next? And who would you like to face after Jared Anderson? Yeah, uh, like you said you know, on the beginning here, we're calling everyone out. Uh, it's not, no, now, never start today. We start calling them out for a long time. So now I have a big fish, you know, in my table. So I need to be focused first with this fight. And after the fight, we will see. Because I think Saudi Arabia now, they are in everything. I think they will make any fight happen. So when I beat this Anderson, Anderson is like the ambassador. Mm. So I saw on the post social media, the post is ambassador for them. Soon I beat him, they will say, oh, this is a good man to fight. First, maybe AJ, first, maybe Ozik or anybody, or Zhang. So I'll be ready for anybody. But for right now, I'm focused on Anderson, 100%. One final question then. Have you got a message for Jared Anderson and the U.S. fight fans? Oh, U.S. guy, I'm coming. <laughs> and also my brother. I'll see you on uh, August, so be prepared. Be ready. I'm ready. 100% I'm coming to fight. Knockout, I'm the one. Martin Bacole, this is my time. I know you're still young. You got it. But this is my time. My time is my time. Respect it. and see you. <laughs> Man, thank you so much, brother. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, much. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.